Rick Goings is joining me right now. And now we'll get into the issue on Africa, but the biggest news tomorrow has to be the inauguration of uh, who is now President-elect Donald J. Trump. Yes. What do we think he will do for businesses such as yourself uh, as soon as he gets in? Well, so many of us right now are uh, wait and see. There's this, when I used to live in Asia, I remember the one symbol in Chinese that stood for both uh, danger but also opportunity. Right. So. I'd use that symbol right now. Right. Of course, uh, as the sales workforce, uh, uh, your employees issues on uh, people joining in, issues on immigration. How do you just settle this once and for all so that the company just understands that everything is fine? Well, our mindset, firstly, is we're a global company. 92% of our business is outside uh, the U.S. We have to decide what the major issues are, and the major issue for us is empowerment of women, and that's why Africa has been so important uh, for us. You have now almost 10 million people coming in uh, uh, into the workforce every year, and there's just not enough jobs. And so many people think, well, what we have to do is wait for jobs. We really need to create opportunities, and we have 350,000 women uh, who sell either our Tupperware brand or our Average Lane brand. Now, our roots are really in South Africa, right. but we're moving north. Right. Now, I've, I'm glad you brought that up. So you've been in Africa and Latin America at least since 1970, but that's right. over 36, over 40 years later, we're still seeing less than five companies being represented. Is it an issue on the skepticism on uh, a business on the continent, or what exactly is it? Well, we, early on, when during apartheid, we made a commitment that we weren't going to abandon our business there and all the people who had jobs. So we signed the Sullivan Principles, really put a stick in the ground and said, we're here to stay. The, we have continued to invest. We now have new and expanded factories down there and have expanded. We acquired Average Lane and we're expanding it. So we're committed. Now, do we have some concerns with regard to, in the post-Mandela years, what's going on with the government in South Africa? Yes, they've got to figure this thing out. So we have as many concerns about that as we do now with the new administration in the United States. Right. Do we have an indication on which country you would be looking uh, to get into if you were to move from uh, arrive from South Africa, Tunisia? Uh, no, and I c really couldn't tip the hand on that right, uh, right now, the different things we're looking at. Okay. Now, let's move to another issue, gender equality. I mean, looking around, the representation here has been an issue. You've been a, a forceful advocate on uh, gender parity and a lot more, but uh, what are we missing? What conversations are we not having, particularly here at Davos? Well, George, I think that's a fabulous question. I think the first thing we're missing is the mindset. Most people, when they talk about g gender parity, they think we need to do this because it's not fair. The moment you do that, then you make a victim of women. That isn't what we talk about. We talk about opportunity and we make the business case for women. How can you have you know, half the world's population who she's just not fully engaged and God, she's strong, she's smart. So what we have tried to do is come up with a business template, looking at the skills she already has. And it is amazing. You hear all this talk about science, technology, engineering, and math. The non-cognitive skills that most women, the qualities she possesses, uh, like self-discipline, courage, tenacity, empathy, uh, you know, imagination, those can be leveraged. So we find women in Africa, we then microfinance them, uh, we train them with the skills they don't have, and then she goes out and becomes a success. So it's the formula. Right, it's exactly the formula. Now we have to put a pause on things, uh, take it back to the studio in South Africa, but thank you for that. And all the best, uh, even with the new administration happening moving forward. Uh, I've been speaking to uh, Rick Goings, who's the chairman and CEO of the Tupperware Brands Corporation.